Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I believe earlier today you said, sir, Tony, meaning Tony Fauci, does not want me to connect anything to him. And when asked by my colleagues, did you use personal email for official business, your answer was, I didn't think it was doing official business, and then just now you said, not intentionally. Let me read some of the emails. The first email from you says, P.S., I forgot to say, there is no worry about FOIAs. I can either send stuff to Tony on his private email or hand it to him at work or at his house. He's too smart to let colleagues send him stuff that could cause trouble. Hmm. Next email from you said, I suggested Arthur try to interview Tony, meaning Tony Fauci, directly and connected him to our secret back channel. He emailed Tony a few hours ago. Next email from you. I forgot to clarify in my email yesterday that both my Gmail and phone calls are now safe. Text is not, as it can be FOIA'd, as can my great uh, government email. So you and Peter, Peter Daszak, and others should be able to email me on Gmail only, with the caveat that no other government employee is copied at a government address, as all government emails are potentially FOIA'ble. Next email from you. This is sent from my Gmail account. Please send all replies here to Gmail. There are things I can't say except Tony is aware and I have, and I have learned that there are ongoing efforts within NIH to steer through this with minimal damage to you, Peter, and colleagues and to NIH and NIAID. Next email, Jerry. My private Gmail account is where I sent this from after forwarding to myself from my NIH account. Please try to send only to my Gmail, as we are doing a couple weeks ago, but I messed up a few times and sent them from my NIH account because on my phone the two are merged. And then when you respond by hitting reply, it goes to NIH. After some recent issues, I'm going to try to strictly use only my Gmail in these discussions. Then the next email. I learned from our FOIA lady here how to make emails disappear after I FOIA'd, but before the search starts. So I think we are all safe. But I deleted most of these earlier emails after sending them to Gmail. Next email. With the help of our IT folks, I went over the whole computer and phone situation. Basically, my Gmail is now safe from FOIA. This is, uh, thus, it should be safe to communicate safely with you, Peter, and others as long as we use my private email, Gmail. I ask you both that nothing in large letters, cap letters, gets sent to me except to my Gmail. Sir, I believe you have lied here today to us, to Congress, when you say, oh, I didn't know this, I didn't intentionally use my Gmail. Are you kidding me? Dr. Morins, do you want to change your testimony? No, I don't, because I think that the, the context, you're, you're, uh, you're, all these, there's so many of these emails you just mentioned, I can't even remember them all, but the context is that this Gmail communication thing was set up purely to deal with, pers with uh, personal things that were not government business. With, uh, and, and then other people... Sir, with all due respect, how can you say that when you clearly, and you know, all these emails were intentionally avoiding FOIA? You said it in your own words, sir. Well, but so what, let's talk about what you mean by intentionally avoiding FOIA. I don't consider that telling them don't send me things because they could get FOIA'd is intentionally avoiding FOIA because those are personal things. And with respect to my NIH email, I couldn't possibly avoid FOIA because I had no control. Uh, sir, did you use in most of these emails your official signature? It said, David M. Morins, O-D, N-I-A-I-D, N-I-H. These were official. Well, 
Let me tell you something else I didn't mention. And you forwarded, you forwarded from your NIH email to your personal email, and you said it right in your email. I learned only about a year ago that the fusion of my Gmail on my email and my email, NIH email on my phone um, had another side effect too. And by the way, I finally got IT to, to take that off, to get rid of it. So there's no more Gmail email fusion. But after I asked them to take it off, I realized that if a, if a Gmail or NIH email came to me and I replied to it, for some reason there was a default where the signature I had on Gmail, which said David Morin's of Bethesda, Maryland or something, didn't go out, but the NIH email went out. I don't know how that happened. I didn't do it consciously. Uh, sir, confusing. I'm and sorry. I, I, I just don't believe you. Well, and I yield back. 